probably one of the hardest things to do is when you have a checklist of projects is picking which ones to actually work on when you can work on all of them. <laughs> So today is cleaning up day in the garden. Well, I say today, it's more like the head towards the evening. So it's setting a lot quicker nowadays. But um, I wanted just to point out something here. If you're a new gardener, um, the other day we had, my son's mowing the lawn, so it's a little, a little lawn mowing sound there. But anyways, if you're a new gardener and uh, you're trying to plant or trying to get as much as you can now as things get colder. Um, we had a cold snap the other day and I woke up, I think it was about 33 degrees. So there was a little bit of like a little bit of light frost in a few areas. It wasn't a really hard frost, but it was close. And so I'm going to show you Kind of what happens to some of the plants um as you may as you know already i am doing a fall planting so i'm seeing <laughs> you know if i can get another little crop of food here um, from from a fall planting i did back in september uh, but let me show you what happens to the leaves when it gets a little bit of frost a little bit of ice on them here are my potatoes so i'm going to go and, and clean up the corn down there in the bottom field but I just wanted to show you that uh, we are getting definitely some major progress with the potatoes here. I'm very happy about this uh, with the some of the cleanup down there. I'm going to bring some dirt up here and kind of pile it in here. But look at this. This here uh, is a little bit of frostbite, I guess we call it. Got a little ice on them. Um, it happened over here as well. You can see these are the uh, the green beans I'm planting there they have a little bit of frostbite on them so the forecast actually looks pretty good for the next 10 days as far as it's like warmed up it was just a, a quick like a cold snap you know that just uh, came oh and look we have some squash down here that really got affected these guys do not like frost at all you can see that it just kind of yeah, shrivels them up. So, mm. these were supposed to keep the rabbits away. I don't know if they work so well. Remember when I got a, a stick stuck in the lawnmower? Mm -hmm. Well, I think either there's another stick in there or it's a rope.
guys may remember my neighbor Ken. He showed up in the Johnny Takes a Field Trip episode. He was doing a metal roofing project and needed to move a large bundle of metal off of a, a trailer. If you haven't seen that episode, it's a pretty fun one. I'll leave a link in the description for you to watch later. So he looks like he's about wrapping up his project, and I have a big fire pit up here at my place. And he's bringing up the debris, and we're sorting out the metal from the wood here. I'll take the metal over to a dumpster I have uh, out there in the field, uh, out further out the driveway. So we're just uh, sorting away. One guy said he, uh, he was telling me, he said, I almost did. I got a new uh, 2038R, which is the same form factor as the 2032, just got six more horsepower. He says, I don't want to do the YouTube channel, but I just don't have the patience for it. He says, I'm going to follow you and watch how you do something. I said, well, come along for the ride, buddy. Come along for the ride. I talked with Todd the other day. I think we're going to tackle this barn over here and get that all cleaned up. I'm thinking about putting the greenhouse over there in the place of it. President. Huh? Maybe he already runs for president. I don't like to be this way to go. Man, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Nobody can pay me to work that job. Huh? I think I can, I can have a lot more effect in other places than that position. I'd be constantly fighting with everybody. Oh. <laughs> Every time you try to get tra traction, then you have somebody. I like, I like ground up stuff, you know, grassroots. I want to change the way Jesus did. He changed the hearts of people from regular, regular folk all the way up to the government people. And that's how you. All revolutions start with the people, not with the president. I will go where God wants me to go. I'd rather, you know, we need more producers, <laughs> less consumers. He's a little bit on the consumer side, but we're working on it. Mm. No, yeah. did you? I thought, no, I thought it was that not one. not producers. No, it was this one. Oh, I thought it was that one. You gotta consume something, but you also have to produce. You have to be productive citizens in society, right, boys? You gotta bring value. Amen, brother. Bring value. Watch out, you start. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.